Greetings, West Sacramento. Welcome to West Sac Best Eats, where we dine on all the fabulous food West Sacramento restaurants have to offer. Heard exclusively here on KYWSLP 92.9 FM on your radio dial. I'm your host, Vince Nicholas. I'm joined by my sparkling wifey, Carolyn Nicholas. Hello. Hello, honey. Thank you for joining me at our dining room table for our little program here. Okay, so we usually uh, review restaurants, but... Today, we're going to review going to a River Cats game. River Cats is a local baseball team, AAA affiliate of the Oakland A's. Uh, yeah, they're called the Sacramento River Cats, but they play at Sutter Health Park, a.k.a. Rayleigh Field. Can we get a name change there, Brew? That's Yolo County, okay? Yeah, yeah. You only live once. It's like um, the San Francisco 49ers. They play in Santa Clara, Brew. And then uh, the New York Jets and New York Giants... They both play in Jersey. Okay. What? You know why? To be closer to Bruce Springsteen. But uh, I, I think they should change the name to West Sacramento River Cats. Yeah. West Sac River Cats flies off the tongue. Mm. Is beautiful. Uh, Mayor Martha Guerrero, if you could get to that, <laughs> make it happen. After you fix all the uh, potholes, am I right? Okay. Uh, we went to River Cats game now. Uh, we got the family pack, which is sold as a $89. You get four seats, four hot dogs, four sodas. Why not beer? Am I right? And, uh, four baseball caps, four river cat baseball caps. Um, the $89 is for lawn seats. Now they do have like the outfield is, uh, is, is lawn seats. There's no actual chairs out there. And if you want to save a few bucks, tickets are 14 15 bucks uh, to sit in the lawn seats uh, on the lawn. There's no seats there. People do bring seats. We saw people bring seats. People brought blankets. But I'm an old man. The I kids mean, wish that we had sat out there. I does they look, thought it looked really fun. It does look fun. It does look fun. But I, I need back support. I need <laughs> lumbar support. You wouldn't last one inning yeah. sitting on the ground. Yeah. Well, the, it's on the lawn, but the lawn is at, and you're sitting at a decline. So that would be, uh, I just, I couldn't imagine that. And yeah, you could lay back on the blanket, but then you're going to miss all the action. And yeah, people bring uh, like those little uh, camping portable seats, but then you're sitting on a portable seat at a decline. Uh, it doesn't look fun. But if you want to save a few bucks and if that's your bag, uh, you you do you. Um, so you upgraded our seats, honey. You paid. Uh, family pack. We got first baseline, third row. For 119 bucks, so 20 more bucks. We got actual real seats, uh, still uncomfortable, but not as uncomfortable <laughs> as uh, sitting on a 60 degree angled lawn. Um, it's sold as over a 200 dollars value, which is true, which is true. But a little asterisk. That's if you buy everything a la carte. And uh, when when uh, Sutter Health Park is selling hot dogs for seven bucks. Yeah, you're technically saving money with this uh, family pack, but they're, it's like any concert, the airport, the movies, they charge an arm and a leg, they have you, you're a captive audience, um, So, but you, you do save money as opposed to buying everything uh, a la carte. Um, one upgrade on the family pack is the governor's family pack, where you get on the field access after the game. Um, we saw some people going down there. And it it looks fine, but for seventy bucks, it's you're on some dirt, you're on some grass. Uh, so uh, oh, and parking at Sutter Health Park, the official parking lot, is fifteen bucks, bro. That's quite pricey. Um, we considered Via, which for people who don't know is like Uber, but it's subsidized by uh, the West Sacramento uh, city mm -hmm. government. Um, each ride is three dollars and fifty cents, but you can only take up to three people. We found yes. out. Yeah. yeah. So, and we're a family of four, so yeah. we couldn't do that option. Yeah. You went to the box office, and bought our family pack uh, to save twenty bucks, save like fees, and uh, uh, their their box office is open. Um, you check the hours, okay? Google it. Go to their website. Uh, but it's open game days, and it's open for a few hours on non game days. Uh, we saved twenty bucks. You saved twenty bucks on the family uh, four pack. Uh, promotions, for whatever reason, it was Wizarding Night, and I, 
it didn't mean much. Some of the employees were wearing capes. Yeah, it, basically it was the Harry Potter theme. Yeah. But they called it Wizarding Night, more of a general term. But yeah. in between each inning or any any downtime on the field, they would run out with these trivia games. or, yeah. And the kids were actually into that. Yeah. Like They were answering the questions. Uh, um, they were entertained by that. Yeah. So it was fun for them. Someone uh, should tell the River Cats that we canceled J.K. Rowling. <laughs> um, I, I the the people who come between the innings, the uh, employees who do all the wacky games between the innings, were wearing capes, but it was so hot. Yes. I felt really bad. Yeah. Uh, and then Dinger, the the, the mascot who I, uh, is a River Cat of some sort, uh, I, I feel super bad for him, oh. especially during games in July and August when it gets over a hundred. Poor kid. Stay hydrated, bro. Stay hydrated. Um, also, fireworks. That was one of the main reasons we wanted to go. Yeah, I specifically said we have to go on a night with fireworks. Yeah, and they, uh, every Saturday night they have fireworks at, uh, at, at the home game. Uh, just FYI, it's a clear bag facility, so you can't walk in there with your Michael Kors bag unless it's see-through. And it's cashless. The entire uh, facility, Sutter Health Park, is cashless. Even parking, you cannot pay in cash, uh, credit card, all that stuff is, is fine. Uh, okay, uh, let's talk about game day. Uh, we pre-gamed Honey, and by pre-gaming, uh, I plucked my eyebrows and my nose hair. Had to get pretty. And you put on makeup, and you did, you got your hair, did. You I did curl- your hair. <laughs> I curled my hair. Yeah. I actually wore mascara. Yeah. Which is rare. Yeah. One of the kids said, why are you getting so fancy? Yeah, bro. <laughs> I, I I wore gym shorts and a uh, <laughs> and a V neck T shirt, um, but you, you you wanted to feel uh you were doing up the town or you were taking me out. I was. It was a night out with the family. I was showing you off. Uh, we drank a Bang Energy drink on the way there. <laughs> it was an evening game. First pitch was six thirty seven. Uh, so we all shared a, a Bang Energy drink because we're parents of the year. Let's be honest. Uh, I mentioned the $15 parking. Uh, we parked on Riverfront, which is where Drake's is, a.k.a. The Barn. There's tons of parking. There's tons of people parking there, but there's spots. Yeah, it was actually quite crowded that evening, yeah. so we were lucky we found a spot there. Yeah. And then we had to walk about a mile Yeah, it wasn't or bad. So. It was really hot, but not bad. It was, We yeah. got some exercise. Yeah. Uh, and then, so, we parked on Riverfront. You drove us um, and found a spot. And uh, well, my uh, my my misogyny kicked in, honey. Don't don't uh, blame don't blame the player. Blame the game. Uh, but I said, hey, excuse me, little lady. Do you want me to parallel park for you? And I had my hat in hand. I said, <laughs> Would you like me to parallel park your vehicle for you, ma'am? And uh, no, I know how to parallel park. Thank you. Yeah. So I stood back, and. Uh, I, I still tried to mansplain a little, but you nailed it, honey. You oh, did. my gosh. I surprised myself, actually. <laughs> I did a really good job. <laughs> you know what? I'm a big talker, but if I would have gotten in your vehicle, because I've been paralleled parking oh, quite a while, I would have been like, oh, I don't choke. Don't choke, Vince. Don't choke. Uh, so Sutter Health Park, a.k.a. Rayleigh Field. Uh, small. A sellout crowd is about 11,000 people. Uh, it, there's not a bad seat in the house. Yeah. Like, I, I've been to Jack Murphy Stadium. Wow, I'm really dating myself. But that's where the Padres used to play in the 80s and 90s. Um, giant stadium, tons of cement. Uh, but th- this is just everything is really, it's small scale. Yeah, it's more intimate. Yeah. You can, you can see the field really well from wherever you are. Yeah. It makes you feel closer to the game, closer to the players. Um, I, I really dug that. Uh, we were on the first baseline. Uh, we didn't know ahead of time, but we were in the sun. Third base was in the shade. It was hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was hot. We got uh, zesty and musty. Um, it didn't last too long, just a couple of innings. Uh, then uh, the sun came over, or the shade came over us. Uh, but it was not <laughs> It was not comfortable for the first few innings. Check-in could be a little quicker. Uh, there was only one gal checking in all the family packs, and the group ahead of us had some sort of uh, issue, or so, so a little bit of delay there. I uh, just thought it could be more seamless. Uh, so, okay, so we got food. We got the vouchers for four hot dogs and four sodas. So uh, we got tickets, 
the vouchers and me and you were waiting at one of the food stands. A couple minutes, not too bad. And we get up there and they say, uh, yeah, we're out of hot dogs. And it's like, what? <laughs> okay. Uh, and then she said, well, you can go to another food stand and they might have hot, so- hot dogs. So, okay. <laughs> Thanks for that. So we go to another food stand. The one right next to it. We were 20 feet from where we were standing. And miraculously, they had hot dogs. I I just wish, like, if you don't have hot dogs, put up a big sign that says, we are currently out of hot dogs. Yeah. Um, and actually, when we went to the next food stand, we started getting our hot dogs. Guy came up next to us, uh, and he ordered some hot dogs. And then a different worker was helping him. And the guy was like, oh, we don't have any hot dogs. <laughs> and the guy was like, oh. And then our lady who was helping us said, hey, we have hot dogs. And the guy was like, oh, we have hot dogs. Hmm. Need to uh, bone up on the communication there. Um, uh, they got the normal uh, garnishes, accoutrements, condiments is what I was going for there. Um, they have r- chopped raw onions, but they're in a cup with the plastic fork. And I like me some chopped raw onions, but I was like, uh, 800 people have touched this fork, <laughs> and I'm a bit of a germaphobe, so maybe oh, I'll, I'll pass on. You got to check your germophobia at the door when you go That's to true. a baseball stadium. That's true. That's true. You just, just put it out of your mind. Compartmentalize. Exactly. Worry yeah. about it when you get home and hop in the shower. Yeah. Something we saw that was unique, fun. Uh, they have a giant beer fridge. And uh, there's an entrance and there's a security guard or whatever. They're monitoring who goes in. And then on the other side of the giant square rectangle, uh, there's a person, uh, a cashier with the... Uh, a checkout thing um so you you can walk into this giant beer fridge and there's tons of beer different beers in there pick out whatever you want you go out the other side and then you pay for it i thought that was super cool and a nice reprieve from the heat yeah Ooh. yeah they should sell access just yeah. come in here <laughs> walk through it'd be like a bouncy house or something five bucks an hour 50 bucks an hour maybe <laughs> five bucks an hour uh but i thought that was cool never seen that um yeah speaking of beer 13 bucks for a beer so i was like ah, i don't i don't want to drink i'll drink my uh diet pepsi here my six dollar diet pepsi that we got with the family pack um yeah too high too high for me not worth it uh so we, we were third row fantastic seats first baseline but it was really crowded it was really hot everyone was musty we were all sweaty <laughs> um it's elbow to elbow yeah those seats are so tiny here. no breathing room so a couple innings in we say, dude, let's the, the first four or five rows are super crowded. And then after that, empty. Lots of space. Uh, like the desert. As far as the eye can see, uh, empty land. Land ho, land ho, as Christopher Columbus used to say. Um, so, uh, so we just moved back like six rows. And we had tons of space. It was so much nicer. Yeah, yeah. And, and worth it. Because like the closer you are to the field... The more you got to turn your head in an angle to look at uh, home base in the action. Yeah, I actually preferred the view of the field from a little bit farther back. Yeah. You could take it all in more. Yeah. So we, we go back five or six rows and we're just sitting there. And Lennox looked at me and he said, is this illegal? Because we weren't in our, <laughs> technically in our uh, seats that we purchased. Mm. And I said, yes, it is, Len. <laughs> and when the popo come for you, you say, I plead the fifth. I object. And I'm not talking until you get me my lawyer in here. Mm, good advice. Don't back down. Stay strong. Um, fourth inning, we got into uh, shade and the heat in general uh, subsided. Uh, they tried to get the wave going a few times. If you're in a giant stadium with the wave, it, there's nothing funner and dumber at the same time. <laughs> it's 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 a, a, a fun, unique feeling. Um Len and Luna were kind of, I don't, I don't think they'd ever seen a wave or been a part of a wave. Not in a stadium like that, no. Uh, But with there being no like official seating in the outfield because it's all lawn, the wave dies quickly. (laughs) The wave dies quickly in the lawn. Uh, So I'm not sure much of a wave, uh, what wave you can do. I remember, have you ever tried to start a wave? No. (laughs) I tried to start a wave. My friend and I, Alex Lord. We were dumb. Okay, we were in middle school, but uh, like we we're at the Padres game, and for some reason we were like, 
let's let's try to get people to start chanting "Go Sockers," which was the San Diego soccer team. So we we started screaming "Go Sockers," but we went down. So at, at the front of the section, we try to get people. Oh, you guys are so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> got like mm, 6% participation, but we were young. That's uh, not bad, actually. We didn't know what we were doing. We were idiots. Uh, but yeah, unsuccessful, but uh, yeah, not much of a wave can uh, can get going at, at a Sutter Health. Um, so there's foul balls, and then sometimes uh, like the players just throw up a ball to a kid or whatever in, in the stands. Um, and Lennox was like, oh, they're so lucky. I want a ball. I want a ball. And I said, Len, I'm going to get a ball. No man, woman, nor child will stop me from getting a ball for you, son. Okay. I never got him a ball, but I, w- I was ready. I Maybe was, next time bring a glove. I was re- I was, That might help. <laughs> I got elbows, honey. I got <laughs> elbows. I was raring to go. I was chomping at the bit. Uh, I wanted to get the kid a ball. Um, so we got uh, hot dogs. Luna got a soft pretzel. Len got a couple fries. Uh, we got hot dogs. I, I, I was keto. I just ate the dog. I, t- I tossed the bun uh, to the side um, because I was keto for, at that point on Saturday night, I was keto for several hours. And let me tell you, honey, it's really a lifestyle. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it was a fine dog. It's a fine. A fine Frank Furter. Uh, you had two. You were famished, honey. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, Luna didn't eat her hot dogs, so I ate mine and hers, Yeah, and I was a happy girl. Yeah. Cokes were fine. Uh, Diet Diet Cokes. I wish they would give free water, really. It's so hot. Right. We bought a bottle of water. Yeah, for six bucks. (sighs) Yeah. Uh, But overall, the game was fun. Uh, The Rivercats won. The Bees, they're either the Utah Bees or the Salt Lake City Bees. Um, which is their AAA affiliates? Uh, the Cats won. We won. Okay. Woo-hoo. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not speaking about first person when it comes to <laughs> professional sports. Okay. I'm not that guy. But the River Cats did win three to two. Um, the fireworks started almost instantly, which I appreciate. I've been to Padres games where it's Fourth of July and it's going to be a grand old show after the game, and you wait and you it's 15, 20, 25 minutes. You're like. Oh. Mm. It's like uh, John Mayer uh, going off stage, and you think he's going to come back for an encore, and you, John, 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 <laughs> and you're just like, come back, John Mayer, play more, but how how long do you st- sit there? But uh, what happened at the River Cats game was, game ended, players got off the field, um, they let the Governor's Club people on the field. It wasn't, it was maybe 50 people total, and just a few minutes after the game concluded, cut the lights fireworks started super fun it was a fun show it was really impressive yeah uh it went on for a good amount of time and because it was wizarding night they played the soundtrack from the harry potter movies oh, which just added that, to the magic that is, it, that, <laughs> is that what that was yeah. ah. john williams score ah oh he does everything right it, it was really good he did this particular song at least because ah. uh luna wanted to know what it was so i pulled up my shazam app on my phone and gotcha got it uh yeah i would I, I mean, we've seen, we can see fireworks here and there from where we live, but being there was like, there's nothing like it. And I was smiling and clapping and I was, I was super <laughs> into it way more than I thought it would be. Um, we were leaving and Luna said, uh, that was low key fun. And if you're not on TikTok or if you don't have a teenager who's on TikTok, low key fun means, uh, is the equivalent of me back in the day saying, that was a real hootenanny in there, see? <laughs> It was a real shindig up in there, am I right? Uh, so, uh, around the fourth or fifth inning, I looked at you, because I thought the kids were bored. Because when I went to Padres games, I used to get bored. Okay, FYI. Uh, I, I was, because I was a kid, and I think ha- part of the the grandeur of 60,000 people, okay, the Padres ba- barely ever put in 60,000 people in a stadium. But just the size of that, um, you just... You don't feel a part of it. You, you, I, I would get bored by the second or third inning when I was a kid. <laughs> so that's what I was worried about. Uh, fourth or fifth inning, I turned to you and I said, because I thought Luna and Lennox would get bored. And I turned to you and I said, do you really want to stay the ninth inning? And you said. Yes, absolutely. We're you, staying for fireworks. That's you, what I was looking forward to the most. You said we're all in. And I said, 
Okay, but turns out they had a grand old time. Yeah, they were not bored. They didn't complain. You and Luna have a girl date to go. Uh, she she wanted to come back with you to yeah. have a girly girl date uh, at the River Cats game. Um, so success, River Cats won. We were the real winners. Though. Yes, you're doing the first person <laughs> thing, honey. I well, we, we as a family, ah, the four of us in our evening out as a family. Yes, great success. Uh, River Cats won. The fireworks was. Super fun. Um, definitely get the, I would advise anyone listening to get the family pack. Uh, I, I, speaking of the group in front of us when we were all checking in, there were girls. I don't think they were all, I, I don't think the River Cats is doing 23 and Me. Like you could just buy the family pack and be four randos off the street. <laughs> and it, it's perfectly fine. Uh, they're, they're not checking your genealogy at the door. Um, so we got four River Cat ball caps. You're the only one in our family who wears baseball caps although i remember lennox wearing a baseball cap a few years ago and he was like from casting 101 the cutest american boy ever <laughs> but he doesn't like hats for whatever reason mm. uh, i mailed one of them one of our hats to my stepdad in san diego and my mom said he wore it to work proudly wow yeah as a tribe called quest used to say river cats represent represent sent. okay they didn't say river cats but they said the other thing but uh, yeah, I, I've been wearing mine, and I'm not a hat guy. But now I'm a hat guy because <laughs> it, it's it's a trucker cap, so it has like a mesh, the breathable back, um, and I dig it, and it's cool. Alrighty, well, are we done, honey? Yes. Alrighty, well there you have it, my fellow West Saxons. Huge thumbs up for uh, going to a Sacramento River Cats game, or thumbs thumbs up for the Sacramento River Cats game, and I hope you get. A chance to enjoy them like we did. Sending you all love and light. Thank you for listening to West Sac Best Eats, where we dine on all the fabulous food West Sacramento restaurants have to offer. Heard exclusively here on KYWSLP 92.9 FM on your radio dial. Hashtag West Sac Best Sac. Oh, boy.